welcome to the view camera movement. This is a six episode video tutorial about using a great photographer's tool, the view camera. But first, let's introduce the young photographer who studied photography, but had to learn how to use the view camera from scratch too. Meet you. She'll be the one behind the camera in this series. She also sees the clear advantages of the camera movements, but isn't an expert yet. Well, let's work on that the next couple of episodes. We will get you moving. We'll get you tilting, shifting, focusing and swinging like a pro. Most photographers of today grew up using DSLR cameras. Many never used an SLR that uses 35mm film let alone the really big view cameras that use 4x5 or 8x10 inch sheet film. The view camera is sometimes considered a thing of the past. Today is the age of the DSLR or the mirrorless digital camera. Well, you'd have been right some time ago. But the view camera is continually being improved. Newer cameras are being developed by craftsmen for the photographic craftsmen, so they're being developed for you. Digital view cameras are available. Some offer stunning image quality and files up to 100 megapixels. You can even use your DSLR or mirrorless camera as the digital back to a view camera. Special purpose cameras are available to the landscape photographer, the architectural photographer, and the studio shooter. So, where does the view camera fit in today? It is a great tool. But many photographers only know that the view camera exists, but don't quite know how or even why to use it. The view cameras are bulky, large, hard to use. They use expensive sheet films and hey, we've got Photoshop to fix our problems, right? Right, we do have Photoshop today. But what if we want to make this picture and have everything in focus? What if we want to make much of this picture out of focus, with the exception of the front left part and the right side in the rear? What if we want to keep a building straight when shooting with the camera tilted upwards? This is where the craftsmanship of the photographer comes in, together with the view camera. And certainly the skills to use it. So, let's start a movement, the view camera movement. 